Hello guys, TWC Coach here with a urgent, um, a couple articles about Viacom removing channels from Direct TV. It's going to be coming up while you are sleeping Friday night, children, 2 o'clock midnight. Your parents allow you to stay up, you will see it on Direct TV if it does not get solved. I got a couple articles here that I would like to tell you. about and the the um the uh URLs to these um to these articles will be down in the description down below. This article is from Motherboard. It says AT&T jacks up TV prices again at the merger despite promising that wouldn't happen. Um that's one of them. There's another one. Um, that um, Viacom is doing. I've I uh I've said that in another one. Here's the article that I'm going to be reading is from ABC News. It says 20 million Direct TV subscribers lose 17 Viacom channels in dispute. Or that's in 2012. Um, unfortunately, I do not do not think Spike is actually owned now by Viacom. I have to see that if you watch Viacom, um, then you made that. But here's. Here's two, or, or, or here's a, um, I'm going to be reading two articles. Both of these URLs will be down in the description down below. One of them is from Pop Culture. It says, DirecTV may lose tons of channels if Viacom deal falls through. DirecTV customers might find themselves losing a ton of channels on Friday thanks to NTT's ongoing dispute with Viacom over their carriage agreement. Viacom has started to roll out ads across the various networks, including Nickelodeon and Comedy Central, warning, cut, uh, warning subscribers that at t will soon pull the plug. Um, the reason for the standoff stems from the expiration of Viacom's current uh, carriage agreement with at t on 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time on Friday. If no deal is reached by then, the channels owned by Viacom will be removed from DirecTV and its Uverse platform. To make matters worse, AT&T recently decided to drop Viacom Networks from the basic attire of its DirecTV Now package, according to Dateline or Deadline. Viacom made their stance very clear from a, in a statement saying they made a series of officers. Offers that are good for consumers and good for NTT, but not so good for their own company. This is far from the first carriage dispute we've seen in recent years, but it is one's first since Direct TV purchased by or Direct TV was purchased by NTT in 2015. This has been a point of contention with rivals like Dish Network, with NTT owning the top traditional satellite provider with Direct TV. The top cable operator in Uverse and bulk of content belonging to Warner Media. According to Deadline, the merger itself was a 16 month battle with the government over the idea that it would end up giving ATT unfair advantages that would eventually harm customers. Viacom referenced this in their statement. Kind of good. Unfortunately, NTT is abusing its new market position by favoring its own content, which significantly underperforms Viacom's to stifle competition. Viacom laid out in their statement, Viacom is committed to developing strong relationships with our distribution relationships, representing the more than half our subscriber base over the last two years and have not had a disruption in our service since 2014. While we continue to make every effort to reach a new carriage agreement, NTT's unwillingness to engage in constructive conversations unfortunately can force a disruption in service. 
The 23 networks affected by their dispute include Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, and its related channels, TV Land, CMT, BET, Paramount Network, Logo, and MTV. Viacom is attempting to boost its own moral at the same time. After their networks were dropped from DirecTV's now basic attire, stocks at Viacom dropped along those with Discovery and AMC networks. It is their first real challenge in the two years since Bob Backish took the position. In a memo to employees, Backish talked about the progress made over the past two years and ongoing negotiations with at t we made a series of offers that are both good for subscribers and good for at t giving subscribers more access to the Viacom channels they love, while enabling at t to lower subscribers' bills and provide customers with a variety of packages and price points. Backers stated in the memo, despite these efforts, at t continues to insist on unreasonable and extreme terms that are totally inconsistent with the market. Viacom has set up the website Keep Viacom to inform customers about the situation from their point of view. The current deal will expire on Friday unless an agreement can be struck in the final moments. So that is that, and I will leave um, that one down. Now, if you are watching this and this just got uploaded, it may take a few moments. If you're still watching this in a few minutes... Alright, just go ahead and click the refresh button, and we will do that. Here's an article from Bloomberg saying Viacom tumbles after warning of possible blackout on DirecTV. Viacom Inc., the owner of the cable networks including Nickelodeon and MTV, filed as much as 4.7% after warning that pay TV customers of at t Inc. could lose access to its movies and TV, cho- TV shows Unless the company's reached a new programming agreement. The shares were down four point five percent to the twenty six point or to twenty six dollars and twenty seven cents in New York after falling as low as twenty six dollars twenty three cents. NTT's the new owner of Direct TV was down as much as zero point nine percent. It's the largest U.S. pay TV provider with over 24.5 million subscribers. The current contract between the parties expires Friday. Viacom said Tuesday in an email, the media company will activating a crawl message on its networks alerting customers of the looming dispute. Um... Price disputes between media companies and pay TV systems owners reflect on pressure on both sides to squeeze more money from a shrieking pull of cable and satellite customers. Programmers like Viacom count on ad revenue and subscriber fees to pay for the TV shows and movies to air. Pay TV systems like NTAT are losing customers to low price options like Netflix. Um, and there's a little, uh, box here that says what Bloomberg Intelligence says, and it's a quote. As Viacom finally made some progress turning around its cable networks, a looming showdown with DirecTV threatens to destabilize its recovery efforts, risking as much as $1.5 billion in annual affiliate and advertising revenue. Viacom, who also owns Comedy Central and BET, says that it's made a series of offers to at t that will allow the company to lower customers' bills. The New York-based media company accused at t of using its new marketing position as owner of Time Warner to favor its own content. at t continues to insist on unreasonable and extreme terms that are totally inconsistent with the market. Viacom Chief Executive Officer Bob Backish said in a memo to employees. Having recently acquired Time Warner, AT&T appears intent on using its new marketing power to prioritize its own content at the expense of consumers 
who are also growing increasingly dissatisfied with paying more for less. NTT said in its response, call Viacom a serial bad actor in negotiations with pay TV companies. The facts speak for themselves. Several Viacom channels are no longer popular, NTT said in an email. Viacom channels have total a lot in total have lost about 40% of their audience in the past six years. In April, NTT will raise prices on its streaming pay TV service. The company boosted prices for its satellite TV service in January. The phone giant com completed the purchase of Time Warner last year in the past month when a final victory over the U.S. Justice Department efforts to stop the deals on antitrust grounds. Since NTT has begun reorganizing the business, which includes Warner Bros. Studios, HBO, and Turner Broadcasting, the division, which operates networks and compete with with Viacom, has been requested Warner Media. Viacom was among several media stocks that slumped on March 13th following reports that NTT will be removing channels from a reshaped DirecTV Now audience. So there you go. That's, that is um, one of them. In the next video, I will show on all, hopefully on all the channels. Um, on both channels, um, get this, the, the scroll that they're seeing. Um, I've seen it pop up a couple times last night. Um, I also, in a video that I still got to, um, that I've got to, um, edit, uh, put two videos together, I called DirecTV Customer Service. And ask them their point of view on what the no negotiations are right now. They cannot help. But I still want to put the put the um put the um the um video up there so y'all can see my conversation with them and their responses back to me. I still if you watch my previous video, I still do not believe um I, I do not believe um, DirecTV and them saying, "Oh, we're going or, or it's it's um, DirecTV's fault or, or that is Viacom's fault." I do not totally believe that. Somewhat, it's both sides' parties' fault because they will not um, because they will not um, come up with the agreement. Um. So that's that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.